Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you um how to install Dev C++. Uh, this was a question, so I'm going to do it right now. So I navigate to the uh, bloodshed. Uh, that's the makers of uh, the Dev C++. If you didn't know it, but okay, uh, I'm going to the. I go to navigate to the site uh, or Google it. Google. Bloodshed and it's just bloodshed.net, of course. Now you go to download the, the download section, you click on Dev C. I used uh, version 5, the current, currently beta, beta, whatever you want to call it. Um, so here you see downloads, and go to the download page, I click on this one. Um, if you got the redirected to this, it's right. Else, you should uh, uh, click on Dev C plus plus or something like that. I really don't know. Uh, but okay. So you have downloads C plus plus five beta two uh, nine point two and stuff like that. Um, you have the executable only source code and with main w slash gcc. Uh, you have to download this one. Uh, yeah, not really, but okay. Um, I don't have the uh, the library installed, um, so I just download this one. If you have the library installed, you just uh, download the executable only. So I click on source for that man, and it will pop up with this. So save file, and let's see if it's downloading actually. Yeah. So I'm going to pause right now and wait until it's done. So now it's ready over there, Smikers. Huh? <laughs> so here you have it. So open it up. Not that hard, I think. So um, it will give you a warning. Click on OK. Now it's uh, doing something. <laughs> so select your language. I'll choose English. Press OK. I agree, of course. First, read the uh, the license agreement, and then press OK. Agree, I mean. Uh, you can uh, remove uh, stuff like that. Um, so next, uh, I want to install it right there. Install. Now it's going to install it, and I'm running this to Vista, and I don't know what's the problem with the guy that asked me to do this. Um, but uh, it runs fine for me, so yeah, finish it and run it. You see, it's a bit yeah, stuff that is the beta, beta version, and stuff for um, I don't can know, so report bugs and stuff. So press OK. Um, I'll choose uh, English, uh, new look, no. I use blue, no, I don't use blue, I use new look. And then use XP teams and press OK. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, press next. I want to create a catch now, so now it's uh, making a catch thingy. And it can take a while if you have a very slow computer. Uh, it doesn't take too long for me. Um, but okay, maybe for your, maybe it uh, does. Uh, it, it maybe for you it will take a while if you have a very very slow computer as I already said but yeah I don't think so um <sighs> man hmm seems to be quite strange because it's already there and still ah, finalize please wait so now it's newly uh, made the catch I ha at least I hope so so yeah now press ok and that will start up with this nice thingy uh, yeah here you can check this one and close it so now I go to file new source, so just a new project. 
just a new project okay like that so actually it's pretty easy uh, I don't know why the problem is yours or else you have to go to your uh, uh, thingy how does uh, is this called uh, I actually don't know right now but okay I think you know what I mean this thingy, thingy and here you can see uh, the compatibility next uh, so it will search automatically and then select Dev C++ and stuff like that so and then just use a XP server pack 2 uh, compatibility I think that should work but I don't know I didn't try that out because it works fine for me um, yeah so thanks for watching this tutorial uh, please rate comment uh, do stuff with this video uh, if you want to download it please uh, put your uh, thingy uh, put my uh, name inside that video or in the d description or something like that um, yeah, so thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you later.